Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the second session of day two of A Life Connects, an, an exclusive virtual only digital event brought to you by A Life Group. We kicked off today with a wonderful session on coffee, on coffee and caffeine artistry, and now we are kicking off with another masterclass in the vein of a photography workshop, especially aimed at event photography. Today's guest will be a very familiar face to those of you cool kids on the scene and the circuit in KL as these guys are at almost every event you could think of working with some of the biggest names in the events and entertainment industry. We are delighted to welcome Sun Lee Khan, who is senior senior photographer at All Is Amazing Creative Photography. Sun Lee, welcome yes. and thank you for joining us. Hi, hi Jacob. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm good, thank you. I am good. Okay. I'm, um, I'm getting quite used to this, this whole stay at home period now, I think. I'm getting a bit too comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, I mean, even same for us. We are trying to get added to the situation and looking to like improve on everything, like our skill sets. And yeah. I'm mean, trying to trying to become better after this. Yeah. Of like course. Well, ourselves. well, it's a great time. It is a great time, of course, to work on, you know, work on uh, fine tuning from skills, learning new things. I mean, I've spent more time watching YouTube tutorials in the past two weeks than I have in the last two years. So it's definitely a good time to work and work on things and learn them. So for, for someone like yourself in your position, obviously your, your specialty is events and nightlife photography. Um, and of course now this is not the best time for, for any kind of event really. But yeah. Are there things that you can do at, at home to kind of hone your skills, practice new things, work on new ways to, I don't know, look at, look at composition or just like get to grips more with your camera, learn more about different settings and, and things like that? What, what is it you can do at home now while there's no events going on? Well, for now, like, like every day to keep in, I mean, to keep a good, uh, so every week, like studying, from the beginning of MCO, like every day we have this uh, team meeting online. Mm -hmm. So we just like brief our everyone in the team, like what's going on, how, I mean, to give an everyday update. Sure. So yeah, to, to see how the team going. And obviously we are, so we are also looking for different prospects of the business side, like events. I mean, since there is no event, so, mm -hmm. so we have a, Quite a strong pile of photos, like free, free photos without branding and all. So we are putting on those for stock photos as stock photo content. Okay. I mean, yeah. So, so using your existing assets for um, you know, for new, basically new material. Okay, cool, cool. And then, then also uh, recently yeah. we have this studio promotion going on on our Facebook. I mean, so uh, on our Facebook and Instagram. Interesting. Okay, yeah, we've seen those. So, guys, just so yeah. you're aware, that all all is amazing. Are offering a fantastic discount at a very special price on studio portrait sessions. So, yeah. head on down to all is amazing's Instagram. It should be down at the bottom of the page at all is amazing. Suddenly, his personal account is there as well, and they are offering a really fantastic deal on <clears throat> on studio portrait sessions. So, you know, why not? Now would be a great time to think about uh, finally investing in some really quality photos because I, I I can't. I can't speak highly enough for uh, the work that you guys have done that I've seen so far. You know, A Life Group and All Is Amazing have worked together on a couple of occasions for different events, and you guys do bring uh, a level of distinction and quality to the table, which you know very few other people do. And that is why you guys are have evolved into the company you are. You're you're working with some unbelievable clients. You're doing some amazing campaigns. It must be you know you guys must be busy busy as hell, but loving every minute, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank you for the kind words. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always good work. You guys, you guys are always, you guys are always showing up. Like I said, like a very familiar face, faces, all of you guys, to anybody who works anywhere near the entertainment or the events industry, you can bet someone is there with his camera. It's usually Paul because he's like six foot tall and you can see him smiling above the rest. But all of you guys uh, are always there. Shout out to Paul, by the way. I think he's watching. So hello there. <laughs> Um, yeah, so and you, suddenly I understand you have um, have a presentation to share with us. Uh, you'll be walking us through uh, some tips and tricks, uh, basically yeah. uh, a one-step masterclass for 
uh, for photography. So tell us a little more about that, and then I'll, I will hand over to you. The stage will be yours. So, so in general, like uh, I prepared the slides, so it will be helpful for people who, like, it's not very technical; it's very generic, and so it's it's for people like who might be interested to become an aspiring event photographer, or there might be people like uh, to give them an insight, like how the photographer inside the event industry works. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's not our point of view and how we see sure. it in, in our perspective. Well, you guys are the experts, so we'll be very interested to hear about that perspective. So. Um, I think yeah, if you just you've got the slides ready, I believe. So just just share your share your screen now, and I'll hand it over to you, and we'll we'll let you we'll let you walk us through them. But I think um, definitely we'll be interested to learn about the about what it what what life is like behind the scenes behind the camera of the events photography side. But also I think there will be some, I'm sure there will be some very useful tips for anybody watching at home who just wants to learn to take better pictures. I'm sure there are some basic rules which are worth abiding by for any kind of photography, right? So yeah. let's get on with the show. Let's, uh, let's please show us what you've got. Sh share with us your knowledge. <clears throat> OK. So uh, you can see the screen, right? Yeah, yeah we're, there. we're with you. So your, full, your, your slides are full screen now. So all eyes on your slides. OK. So right now, everyone's seeing the slides? Yeah. OK. Good to know that. So, so uh, as I mean, people might have seen us. We are all is amazing. We are even uh, we are a photography company who, and we specialize on event lifestyle. And I think if I I mean there is a long list. Like we can we cover a lot of sectors in photography. Then, even in, in fashion, from festival to good vibes, and also mm. nightlife parties. So, and in this slide, you can see uh, my my team and my colleagues, everyone. And I'm really grateful to be working with them. Except for there's one of my colleagues missing in the photo, Sunny Chair. He's a videographer for us. Then in the first row, you can see it's uh, Meng and Paul. Then at the back, on my left side, there is uh, Chris. And on the right side, there is Daddy. And the good, I mean, as a team, we are very diverse, I would say. Like, and I'm gr very grateful for that. Like, we have a diverse team, different uh, people, I mean, people from different backgrounds, different culture. and Sometimes we share a lot of stories, like of it can be the culture, or like how things back, uh, things work back home. Like for Daddy, he's from Indonesia. Paul's from Lithuania. We have Meng, then Chris and Sunny from Malaysia, and myself from Bangladesh. So, <clears throat> so, so the this these are the topics I wanna talk about today so it's entirely related to like uh, even photography because for for myself like i don't think I, i'd be talking about other field and in photography there's no like right or wrong it's more how people see uh, see things like differently and have their own perspective like so for mine i'd be talking about in my own perspective and how i've been learning from the team so these are the three topics. It's how to identify the right composition in every photos, and tips to achieving the best quality photos, and how to be an even photographer. Like then again, uh, it's all related to events and what we shoot. And so for the first topic, I have like made a sub uh, subtopic as well. It's like rule of third. To, how to identify the right compositions, rule of third, search for a good source of light, and change the point of view, balance of element, senior of, even as an example. So let's walk you through. So the first one, it's, it's very, 
uh, I believe it's a very common, and the first thing you should know about photography, it's, it's one of the most generic terms to keep like it. Uh, I mean, to know about the grid, even on cell phone cameras, it's, you can find this grid. So it's, so the rule of three, it's, uh, it means like you have to, uh, you position the subject on one third of the framing. So, so you, you position that place. So it, it gives an interesting point of, of focus. So, so whenever people sees, see the photo, they already know where's the point of interest. So I, I uh, as Jacob, you can see like the way I have placed the subject, right? Uh. Hello? Okay, so back to where we are. So, so that's how rule of third works. And the next one would be uh, to search for a good, uh, good light in an event. So the photo on the right side, it's actually inside a mall. <clears throat> so there's a like huge installation tunnel, and. So somehow I managed to, I was see, seeing like which, in which way the light was coming from. So I placed, placed the person and I was able to get the, get the photo. And it also illuminates the photo itself. Mm. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people know, a lot of people know the very basics about, I guess, backlighting. You know, of course, it's better to have the yeah. sun in front of the center rather than behind. But there are so many subtle little touches to the, uh, you know, to, to the, how lighting works in many different ways that is really important yeah. to, yeah, it can literally make or break the photo. Yeah, true. So then the photo on the right side, it's, it, uh, yeah, it, it was around uh, outside of a bar. So I, I placed them, I saw like which way the sunlight's coming from. Then I was able to get the frame. And obviously you can see like the behind the branding included as well. Then the next yeah. one, it's uh, try out different angles. Like, I mean, it's not like you have to look through the camera like straight. You can like slightly go a bit lower or you can take a, you can go a bit close up then take a close up shot of the object or the person. Like here you can see there's like three, uh, like three different perspective of the same photo. So I took a close up shot in the center. I took a like more of an ambient, like the subject is in uh, in an ambient. Mm. And the third one is like standalone portrait, like very subtle way. And also you, have, you can see there's a, a bit yeah. of good lighting on the right side. This guy looks quite familiar. This he's a brand ambassador, obviously, clearly for for alcohol. Uh, which it's uh, yeah this? for Remy Martin. Remy Martin, that's why he looks familiar. Oh, yeah. cool. <clears throat> so yeah, interesting how you interesting and the and the the color treatment, the 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 black and white style, and the way yeah. that you used the light and moved around is is very interesting. He then, and this one it's to find like balance of elements in a scene. So I tried to, it's, so the first thing I think that it's, when you see uh, see a photo, it's it shouldn't be like hiding your eyes. Like there should be a subtle way you can, it should be like more, more of a peace, peaceful to your eyes to see. And so on the right side, it was, uh, an Australian artist called Flume. So he, uh, Good Vice Festival brought him for a show in KL. So what, what, is that, what is that light source there? Like, is that like a, 
a neon, like a neon light on a stand or something. I, I'm struggling to make it out quite clearly. He, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, it, it was a light. I mean, it, it was, he had this installation set up on the stage. So it, there yeah, was a light was coming out. And so he was like painting his name, like, hi, my name is Flume. And, uh, uh, and yeah. There, yeah, there was also like an aerial projection on stage. So on the stage, you can also see like how, I mean, what he's writing. Yeah, I remember that. That sounds familiar. Then on the right side, it's, uh, I, I took this aerial shot of, it was during Kale Fashion Week. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you can see like, everyone's like looking at the model. So that's in, that's taken from above the runway in, in Pavilion, uh, correct? Yeah, yep. Mm. Interesting, I've never, never seen, well, never, never seen it look like that before. Amazing what you can do with a bit of angles and a bit of light. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you. And so this one, it's, uh, so I want to talk about this as a scenario of an event, like how to get that composition, I mean, in that event, and uh, obviously, like for myself, I I wouldn't be able to get that kind of shots like at the same time. So it's I'm really grateful. Like we have this, we work in a team. So so before every event, we discuss the workflow. Like we reiki the whole place. Mm -hmm. So I, I hope like this guy doesn't need any in introduction. <laughs> Certainly not for me, and I hope I hope not to anybody at home. But for those of you who don't know, this is probably well if not of a, a maybe not this generation but certainly one of if the not most famous footballers of the previous generation about 10 years ago this guy was king of the world or wasn't he was yeah. it a bit like 20 years ago now god i feel old yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah yeah this guy is this guy is football royalty there we go yeah so i can't their name doesn't show up but that is exactly correct ronaldinho yeah one of the greatest so, guys to ever play the game so for this one, it was, I mean, quite an interesting event to shoot. So we had to like document from A to, I mean, the moment he got out of the car, he was holding a trophy. Then we also had to get his reaction, the crowd's reaction. And also you can see like, he was going through a wave of people. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. Then in the, center, in the center photo, he was like, he was very amazed to see his fans. Like, I think the whole pavilion, like, I think it was very packed. Yeah. Really? Well, I'm not I surprised. Even, <laughs> I think even it caused a traffic jam for like a couple of hours. <laughs> well, this guy is, like I said, this guy is football royalty. You know, there aren't, yeah. there aren't many people, there aren't many players in the history of the game who have made quite an impact such as he did. So, yeah. yeah and it's, and, Let's be honest here for a second, if, if, if I can get away with saying this, we don't often get guys, uh, get, get athletes of his caliber coming to, uh, coming to KL that yeah. regularly. So when they show up, it's a pretty big deal. Yeah. I mean, and shout out to Heineken. They were, they were the ones who brought them. Shout out to Heineken indeed. Yeah. Hmm. So then the, Okay, so now it's we are going to the second topic. It's tips of achieving the best quality photos. I mean, given in, in a situation. So, uh, so moving on, it's so being able to predict the situation beforehand. So uh, yeah. on the right side, yeah, on the left side of the photo, you can see a, a car and a red flag. Yeah. Yeah, so, so uh, this was uh, during Toyota Gazoo Racing. We were shooting this event in Penang. I mean, even for us, it was a first event for us at, I mean, to shoot like races and racing pit and the, those kind of uh, racing festival. So this one, I, uh, one of my colleagues, like, I, I, think, I think this shot by Paul, yeah. So he predicted that, like, what if there might be a crash? Like, uh, okay, I mean, it's, yeah, so there might be, like, he, uh, since it's a race, there might be, like, cars crashing, there might be bombs. So 
he was there and he he got the he got the photo like there's a red flag and in racing red flags I mean there is caution or, or the racing flag. Be, yeah and did he did he manage so did, did he i mean some people do, some people do go to races purely in the hope of seeing a crash which is kind of which is kind of weird but i won't go there but did did your colleague did he like t was it kind of a lucky guess as to where he managed to photograph the crash or did he kind of like pick pick an area of the track like which he knew was more likely to happen do you know what i mean like how yeah i mean it's uh so this one we actually we were we raked the whole place. Like we mm -hmm. had, this, we were, I think we were like four of us shooting. So we had like photographers placing in different parts of the track. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, we were shooting this for three days, but we didn't predict. Like at the first few days, we didn't predict. Like, what if there, there might be a crash? What if? I mean, it's not like we're hoping. Like there might, be, and it it would be a good. Uh, I mean, why not like document it to add more value to the festival? Like, yeah, yeah, completely. document like everything. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Then, you never know what you might you might pick up. Then on the center for it, uh, I think right now this guy's like quite famous. Now it's uh, Joji. Oh yeah, well I think yeah, Nick Fami certainly is a fan of this picture. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Nick. <clears throat> so the center photo, uh, uh, I remember like I was like literally sleeping on the pit. Wow. This yeah. is a good vibes, right? Uh, yeah, it's one of the good vibes. It's mm. uh, organizer, uh, Future Sun Asia. They, they, they're the ones like that. They do good vibes and a couple of like big festivals in Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame. We, we just got the news. I think it was only yesterday. I mean, yeah. it's no surprise really, but it's still a shame. I mean, the news of good vibes this year is canceled, but yeah, I guess there was no way, uh, unfortunately, uh, that could have happened. So shout out to anybody from good vibes watching, by the way, um, you know, we're with you in solidarity. We, we're sure you're going to put together a much, uh, an even bigger and better show in 2021. So we look forward to that. Uh, but our hearts yeah, go out. Yeah, I, I hope like everyone's going to come like better and stronger. Let's yeah, hope for that. Yeah. I think so. Then for the third photo, it's uh, it's during an event launch. Oh, cool! This is, again, this is, this looks uh, is that yeah, Pavilion too, right? Yes. Just that. It was. We shot this. I think it's. Uh, if I'm not missing, it's quite recent. It was during the Chinese New Year. Yeah. So they, oh, wow. they had to like, people were doing those Isan. If I'm, if I'm, like, I think you might be familiar with that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think we've got a, we've got a shout out here. Unfortunately, I, ah, Hafiz, I think. I can't show yeah. his username, but I can see Hafiz yeah. uh, lo loves the amazing <laughs> Apparently he was next to you when you were uh, when you were taking the Joji pick. So Hafiz, you were right up front as well. I'm sure you had a great yeah. view. <clears throat> then, yeah. So we we were like we took the photo like they you can see the crowd and excitement, the confetti, and the long gambit itself. Awesome. So. <laughs> then so moving on. So it's. It's uh, communication is the best, I mean, is, is the key to one of the keys to get your photos. Like, mm. Except the technical side, yeah. So it's, uh, for my case, it's like the more you talk with people, like in an event or the more you get to know our people, the more the, sub, the person will get comfortable in front of your camera. Like all you have to do, make a and how is it? Yeah. And, and do you have any? I mean, you've you've been doing this now for a while, and I'm sure you you've worked with a with a lot of different uh, personalities, shall we say? Yeah. Some more uh, easy, perhaps, to work with than others, and some maybe a little harder to get through. What do you find is the key to um, to getting someone to be comfortable and comfort? I mean. 
generally you, you might assume that people working in the or the people you're photographing you're photographing mm. in the events and nightlife industry generally they're more used to the camera than your average guy on the street but you'd be surprised some people don't some people really aren't as confident in front of the camera as, as you might think so mm. what is it you do suddenly to get them you know to get them to open up a little bit to get them to feel comfortable with you and you and to get them to show their best side you know literally mm. uh for for myself like if if let's take the an event as a scenario like all this launch event as a scenario so so if i'm going to a, a person to take take a photo the first of all i would ask the person like okay hi i would introduce myself like i'm photographer for this event so they they would, I would uh, in that case i would feel like they're they would feel comfortable like not knowing i'm some random stranger mm. like or any paparazzi taking photos of her so i, I would oh. like introduce myself mm. then i'd ask her like uh i ask ask for the for her good side like which which angle she prefers like a lot of people have their good side like left side right side yeah or they they prefer like full body shot or half body yeah so it's it's Got always it. a good thing like to ask yeah yeah and okay. in a way they will also feel like comfortable so they they're like slowly opening up to you yeah so they know that you know they know that you have their best interests obviously at heart you're yeah. you're there to help them right so i guess it's just yeah. you're getting on their side and you're you know you're uh yeah you're understanding what it is is going to make them most 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 confident and most happy with with the outcome yeah. cool okay so then so it's uh so paid attention to details right rather than like seeking so uh you can see like these are like uh on the left side it's a interior sort of a gucci mm and it's like clean like i try to make sure like there's nothing at the background there's like it has to be like super clean and for interior photography it's quite i mean it's i think it's best to have it clean it's one of the like criteria mm -hmm. so i had to check on the reflection if there is any reflection on the window i had to like eliminate the reflection there's some people coming back or going through the photos then do you do you um do you try and do that as you know, of course as naturally as possible or sometimes if you if it's a, if it's a quick turnaround on a job or you only have a limited time to get the shot do you then have to rely on post production to maybe like do some a bit of a bit of di a bit of editing out yeah i mean every i mean the, there obviously there has to be a di but i would try to make less di like i mean sure um, yeah of course cut, i mean make as i mean make the photo as perfect from the camera itself mm -hmm. then Sorry. the center for it's a uh, i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it correctly it's alana son it's a swiss watch yeah mm. sounds uh, sounds yeah. right so it, so, so it's, it's a, <laughs> so it's a back it's a back side of the watch yeah yeah Good. very intricate then on the on the third photo it's uh, on the right side it's a uh, Louis Vuitton had this time capsule capsule exhibition like few i think last year yeah we remember that yeah the alaf group yeah. there yeah um, we we helped so, out with the deep i believe i think we got baits to play for that event yeah so even so for this for i i think i had to go to get the very clean clean shots like and so i went there uh, i think it was 5 in the morning like oh wow yeah i had to like go few hours before before the sunrise so i had to like take preparation so and that was the best time like people were in there and uh, so like detailing wise i have to make sure there's no smudges on the on the installation and also there uh there were any any scratch marks on the uh on the door as well ah sure so yeah literally as clean as uh, as clean as possible 
Yeah, and even like there might might have been like obstacle on the floor or if something there. Yeah, so I have to make sure like there is nothing. So that and photo is taken. That that photo was taken in in the dawn light at about what six thirty seven a.m. That photo, just as the <laughs> light is just as the yeah. light is breaking over the twin towers. Uh yep. I I think it's yeah around that, like seven, Beautiful. like maybe the first light of the day. Yeah. Beautiful. <sighs> <clears throat> then so um so everything like you have to like keep on practicing so like practice 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 like every no matter what like practice makes perfect of course yeah i was um i was watching a um a youtube that kind of tutorial um uh, the other day with, with, with a content creator talking about his process and um he's he's a, a car I honestly can't remember his name, but he is a very well-known guy, very well-known on YouTube, millions of subscribers. And so he gets a lot of people turning to him saying, you know, you take such fantastic photos, how can I do that? And his tip is, is just, you got to take hundreds of bad photos before you take, yeah. you know, and then, then there'll be a few good ones. And then you've got to take a few hundred more, and then you'll have a few, a few more good ones. And then gradually over time, the process will prove itself and you'll eventually start taking more good than bad. Yeah. Right? I mean, and, uh, it's it's uh, I would say like there's it's not like good photo or bad photo. It's the whole part of the process. Like even mm. your first, okay, the first photo. It for myself it can be a okay. If if for a guy who didn't uh, didn't touch the camera or doesn't have like like very introduct I mean introducing himself to a photography. So he, if you compare his first shot. To his ten thousand shots, like mm. I'd say, like both of them are good shots. It's the part of the process. True, true. Yeah, okay. it's a very diplomatic way of looking at things. Yeah, so you can like, and sometimes you can like reflect like, uh, like how long you have game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Practice. Well, yeah, like anything you say. All right, practice, practice, practice. Then, yeah, okay, so let's, uh, these are like uh, some of the tips for even photographer. I, I hope it will be helpful and just some insights. So first we talk about like, uh, like to learn about event photography, it's more about like how would you want to document it? Like it's, I mean, you, you have to see it like a, as a presentation. If someone didn't go to an event, like you want to show show them, like give them experience. Mm. So it's not like yeah. a presentation for you to show to other people. So you can practice in uh, events. You attend. It can be like comedy event or market, or it can be charity event as well. Then uh, these photos are from uh, Rio in the city. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. So they, they they've been doing a lot of events like the past couple of days, and it also brings up the community very very well. So just so a quick question: L looking at these two types of pictures from the same event, now they're both excellent <sighs> pictures, but they are they're showing obviously. Um, one is very close up and one is from from afar one the one on the left is bringing out the really the bringing out the community like the the personal community angle if that makes sense like the, the yeah. joy the joy that yeah. you get from going and shopping from these independent vendors picking up some amazing you know I, I guess it looks like a kind of a bakery there so you're you're you're, you're zoning in on the emotion and the feeling mm -hmm. that you're getting from going to the business and the second picture is a is a beautifully mm -hmm. composed Shot and it, you know all of the symmetry of the of the event space itself looks wonderful and you can see there's a lot of people there which brings you know the sense of community and impact into the yep. photo. It, 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 maybe this is a question that's very difficult to answer, but what do you find like the, I mean the client prefers like what has the most impact in terms of I guess selling the event when it comes to photos like this. Uh... So you're, you need like, so you're saying like how, I mean, from a client's perspective, is it? 
yeah, I guess in your experience, what do client when, when you show the clients photos like this from their event, what yeah. do they tend to respond to most? I mean, I'm sure they love both photos, but yeah, do they have a preference? Uh, sometimes, I mean, it we we usually don't give them like one photo, so we give them a, a couple of hundred photos, so it covers their yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. documentation process. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think it, it's kind of hard to do, like if you judge by one. Yeah, yeah. You, you would never, of course, you would never pick just one. I guess mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. It's like some some clients, you know, would would love to show off like how big their event is and yep. how popular it's been. Some other clients maybe want to focus on, you know, the the personal touch, like the emotion that's within it. So, just bit different approaches, different strokes for different folks, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it it also depends on client. Like some client, they want to show different aspects of the event, like to make it like the wow. Like when you see a photo, it's like okay, you see a lot of people. Like for example, the photo on the right, you can see the market, the crowd. And how happening is it? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Then, so the next one is uh, to know your equipment well enough and when to what, I mean, when to use your lenses. I mean, I think it's, it might be a bit technical. As I said, like, I'm not going to go that technical, but yeah. So, right. so for, for the three shot, it's from the same event. That's okay. Yeah. So, so what kind of yeah, so are these different different lenses you have here? I mean, one one <laughs> looks almost like a fish eye. Um, yep. Talk us through what you're doing here. So it's a. So I use the fish eye to give a general. I mean, the the white shot, like the ambience, environment shot. Then. On the center, you can see there's a model holding a watch. So it gives a bit of, uh, and it's, it's shot with a portrait lens. So portrait lens, we have this like 50 millimeter. 50 so millimeter. It, yeah, so it, it gives a in-depth, like, okay, what was the photo from the fisheye was So it's a bit more in-depth. Cool. Yeah, then on the left side, it's, so you can see like what was the event about like it it was a speech like and it was a presentation to the people like people are sitting there enjoying their paying attention to the speaker nice okay so just did bring up different different emotions different focuses different so from right to left sorry so the fish eye was on the right and then in the center lens center picture you're using a 50 millimeter lens <laughs> yep and then, sorry, on the on the left, what is the last one you're it's using? A, I think it's a wide angle, so it oh, ranges yeah, yeah. from sixteen to thirty-five, or it can be like twenty-four mm. Yeah. So it yeah, I'm not, it gives a it gives a wonderful sense of depth to the like you said to the to the speakers in the crowd. So it kind of it sets the speaker apart, um, and it makes the audience look much further away from him, which gives like the room a lot of a sense of depth mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. makes it look bigger somehow even even in a very intimate setting i'm sure um it gives like a wonderful sense of perspective to the to the environment which is nice yep okay then yeah so it's it's a very good tip i i, I suppose it would be very helpful and i'm i have i have learned this from my colleagues as well like from the team and my colleagues like respect and collaborate with the surrounding people to achieve your shots, like in events. <clears throat> so on the left side, you can see, the, you can see like I was taking photo of the uh, three people in, in front of a photo wall. Mm. Yeah. So for them, like, uh, I mean, it was very crowded and everyone wants to get the shot. Of course, but yeah. Like everyone like, so, First, I got the I, I before, so before like people started to come like I have I had a talk with the other photographer like okay let's let's not, like jump over, I will give them a cue like I will ask them to wait for your turn. So first, when I took the photo, I just literally like kneel down. Then there were like people, I mean other photographers behind me, the media, and 
other editors from fashion magazine. So I gave them enough time so they had like they also can take photos. I mean, sure, yeah, we, I can we imagine. Can do that. I we imagine. Can do that. Uh, yeah, I imagine there's a lot of uh, you know sharp elbows flying around everywhere when people are hustling for the right spot, you know. So better to work with them, not against them. Um, it's yeah, it's more about like being concerned about others. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, agreed, agreed. So I mean, in terms of you getting, like you just said, you 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 make sure that you speak to the right people in advance, and you yeah. you know, you introduce yourself. But also, I mean, you mentioned uh, just before for the for the Joji shot. At good vibes you were like sleeping in the pit you know you were right up front the whole time ready for that kind of thing so when it comes to events sometimes do you are you like the and, and you also with the louis vuitton time capsule you were there at 5 a.m sometimes does it just sometimes is there just no choice but to just get there first just just sacrifice your time and get there really early mm, uh okay let's come to the georgie shot so it was like usually for music events we have this three song rule like photographers are allowed in the pit like in front of the stage from like maximum three songs like once they're done with their third song we have to like walk out okay interesting yeah. so luckily i mean obviously that's a lucky shot so i was there the uh, i mean he was reaching out to his crowd i think during the second or maybe at the third song Oh, right. I see. That is quite, I mean, it is. I mean, usually, usually they start doing more of the audience stuff towards the end of the set, you know, and the crowd is all warmed up. So to yeah. get it on the second song is quite, yeah, it's quite lucky. Yeah. But so then again, then, you make, make your own luck. So. so then the Louis Vuitton capsule shot, it was, uh, I mean, I had a discussion with the client as well, like, okay, let's, uh, let's go there early, see the situation. We see like if people, if there are people, I mean, we had a discussion with the client beforehand to get the shot. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Of course. So, so it, 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 that's all very planned out. I guess it's a not as a. And I guess you weren't really competing with anybody to get the shot because they were your client. So yeah. it was just. For you. Then uh, on the second photo, it's uh, uh, she's Maggie Wang. She's an MC, and so during the even we we collaborate with the MCs, like we get to know like okay if uh, we need like help or they need help with something like with photos or uh, even during events they can like orchestrate the crowd or for the group shots of uh, or they give a cue to the VIP like in events there are like a lot of VIPs yeah yeah yeah, so in before like we try to collaborate with them, like okay, work with them, like how uh, how to have a better flow of the event. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, of course. It's always yeah. It's, you've got to know the agenda. You've got to know who's who's going to appear and show up when, and just make sure you're aware of the flow. Right. You can't just show up and start taking pictures. Yep. True. I mean, to keep everyone in the same page, like so we don't like uh, jump around the places. Then the third yeah, photo is, yeah. so it's uh, it's during the Kuala Lumpur Fashion Week, mm -hmm. and during the Kale Fashion Week, there's there's like a lot, a lot of photo. Like there's a photo pit, so people would be like sitting there the whole day taking the taking their best shots. So far, in this case, like you have to respect them, like make sure you you talk to them, you introduce yourself, so, and you don't like get into their frame. Yeah. Like you you block their shots or, yeah, I mean just just being mindful and considerate of everything. Yeah. Don't make any. <laughs> try not to make any enemies. Yeah. I mean, if, if possible, like also try to like help each other. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, making enemies like won't take you anywhere. Like, it's not about like making enemies or hating on people. Hmm. It's like no, more. Right. The more you collaborate, it's more. The more you go. Yeah, sure. Help, just yeah. People helping people. Yep. Together we are stronger. <laughs> yep. Then, 
So like planning your shots ahead. So, uh, so this is a collage of uh, MTV wraps. So they had this like five, uh, I believe it was a five day shoot. So I was there to like document the whole set. So they had like different kind of activity. It was more like an MTV uh, game show with uh, rappers around the Asia, Asian region. Okay. Yeah. So, it, looks, it looks very MTV. <clears throat> yeah. So for, the, for this one, I, I had to plan my shots. I mean, they were doing their, they were taking videos of every set. So in between, I had to like talk to them. Okay, so after you, uh, after there's a cut, like when the director says there's a cut, so I just go there, go to the center of the, uh, what do you call it, the acting area, the set. I, I go in front of the set, I just click, take my, the shots I needed and just like, okay, slowly move on. Mm. So the, for this one, like, you have to like plan your shots ahead a lot. Like you have to talk to the people then, and also I was working uh, alongside to the, with the MTV, uh, the social media team. So I had to like ask them like, what kind of shots do you need? And they need like more of behind the scenes. They needed like portraits. It's uh, then people of the crowd. Then of course the people, uh, the performances like in whatever going on the, the MTV show. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So again, you can't, you can't just show up and start taking photos. You've got to know who's going to be there, where they're going to be, um, and where the, you know, where the best spot is to, to get them in the best light. Right. Hmm. <coughs> okay. So moving on, it's, yeah, I mean, it's communication with the client and read the brief. So usually every time when there's event, so we we go to a if that event happening like six p.m. So we'd be we'd be at the venue by few hours, I guess. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. To keep on yeah. So to uh, walk around the whole place to recce, recce the spot, then to to get to know the client to see like what the clients expect uh, expecting from us. And also we try to like meet the expectation and also like if possible, like we over deliver. Like how, uh, how often do you, how often do you find that? I mean, the, the clients suddenly with a, with a company and a brand like yours, you know, the clients kind of know what to, what to expect from your, you know, they know what your shots will look like and so on. But um, how often do you find working you're working with the client who maybe you have to really help them with the brief and their expectations you know how how often do you have sort of hold the client's hand through through how the pro process works uh to i mean to make things easier so obviously they we would like show our portfolio beforehand yeah like, fair they, they 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 go through our portfolio of our uh what kind of one for um i mean what we did for other clients and uh, other projects we did for other clients so we also like give them like what to expect i mean give an idea for them like what you can expect sure yeah then then again we every time we have to like uh check back with them like okay is there anything in between the events we just go to them uh, to ask for the feedback or uh, like even they might be busy so we just ask for a couple of minutes so like to run through to check like if everything's going smoothly and yeah cool okay so yeah i mean i guess with a portfolio such as yours like yeah they, they know what to expect but you know i i work in the i work in the creative industry myself i take mm -hmm. i take plenty of briefs from clients and i work on plenty of briefs with clients and that it's sometimes you'd be amazed at kind of how you have to <clears> guide them through the through the brief process, you're almost telling them what they want because their expectations yeah. are all over the place. So yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's, uh, 
I'm not. Th- I mean, I mean, I'm not saying like it's a blame. So it's uh, recently we. I learned this. Uh, I mean, my friend from. I mean, uh, our friends from Singapore. Mm. Uh, photos. So we were having, and Paul and Afik Omar. Afik, so Afik Omar runs a, a photography company in uh, Singapore. So it, they're like exactly what we are in KL. Yeah. Right. So he was saying like it's up to us how we, uh, I mean, for us, the client is right. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, client, customer, the customer is always right, so they say. Yeah. So, so it's it's up to you how you explain. Yeah, very true. And and how you explain and uh, to make them look like how they see the things. So it, it all depends on your presentation. Hmm. Yeah. Very true. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> Yeah, so another tip is like think like a client and <laughs> how they would like to see the event. So so the photo on the left side, it's it was for uh, a launching of Coach, Coach Story in Penang. Okay, cool. So they, uh, they brought like two Hong Kong celebrities and it was like the crowd response like massive. Massive. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But it's a big brand. Yeah, and also like <clears throat> for for what we think, like the client would want to see this kind of photo, like their fans like trying very excited, and obviously you can see at the back the brand name. Oh yeah, it's subtle, yeah. but subtle, but it's yeah. still. It's still there. It's still standing out, but in a very kind of subtle, like um, not in your face kind of way. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, uh, th- this was shot by Paul himself, so he was like following the celebrities. Wow. <clears throat> so this, you you went for a very kind of very glamour, very black and white, very like kind of cosmopolitan, but you yeah. know, luxe feel yeah. with the black and white. Yeah. Then on the right side, it's uh, uh, I believe it's Tame Impala. It was during it was a band Tame Impala. It was during Urban Skate, like 2016. And this was this urban was this at um, oh what's that place in this in in KLCC in, in near Chinatown, right? Yeah, it's in KL Life. KL, yeah, that's the one KL Life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. Well. <clears throat> so. For this one, like, and the event was sponsored by Tiger Beer. Uh, okay. So I can I can see like you can see a subtle branding of Tiger yeah, and yeah, down, and the concept. Yeah, down, like, yeah, down at the bottom right, and and the picture. I mean, it also captures the brand colors overall very very nicely. Yeah. The blue lights and the orange, the, the orange in the foreground, and the subtle <laughs> sign. You can see the sign at the bottom right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, as a uh, marketing perspective, obviously you want to show like how how happening and big was the event, uh, in, including your brand presence. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So you want to show the energy. You want to show the crowd. You want to show the exactly. mood. Yeah. yeah. Mm. A bit of everything. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So then the next one. It's. Uh, so I think you mentioned about the Rio, like about the photo experience. Yeah. You remember in the Rio photo, you, you asked like, what if a client asked for? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so here it's more, so in terms of any event, we try to make a virtual photo experience. Like to, then like if people even didn't attend, so they get an idea like, they're already in the event. The, I mean, event itself. Sure. So you're very immersive. Very immersive. Like very. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it feels like they were. They didn't miss out. Like they were already in, in the event. <clears throat> okay. 
Yeah, this, this was also during uh, Tiger Street Food in the Gascon. Street, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, the uh, the street party. Yeah, so you can see like it's from from people enjoying the drinks, from detail of the food, then people mm. are playing games. Yeah, then also the yeah. food vendor, and there's a, a wide angle shot of people. I mean. Uh, hang, I mean, friends hanging out and enjoying their food, having a good time. Awesome. Yeah, you can, and it, 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 yeah, and it brings it brings the energy forward. It brings the event forward, and like you say, it brings people closer to the event. They they like whether it's whether it's close ups of the food or whether like the uh, picking up on like you said the the table with friends sitting around it. Like yeah, you feel you feel definitely feel part of it. <laughs> okay, so, so the, I, yeah, so the next, I, mean, I believe this is the last one. Yeah, so it's fast delivery. Mm, crucial. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I mean, even the in terms of event, they would like to bump up their like they have to send the photos to the media, then it has to be on newspaper, it has to be a website. So it's so fast delivery. It's uh, it's quite crucial for us. Mm. Yeah. Like that. So even sometimes we during even even the events like uh halfway and we are like already we have an we will have an editor and we were already giving like the photos to the client. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow, so, like, so almost almost like live delivery of, of uh, some yeah. of the shots. Yeah. yeah, wow. And as well in during events, some of like uh the marketing influencers they ask for photos like to to prom promote their brand yeah yeah sure and so in that case we also like give fast photo access from our camera like it takes like few couple of minutes mm -hmm. yeah i've just picked up a new uh sort of a, an entry level dslr and it comes with a like a bluetooth functionality so you can send uh -huh. it you can connect it to your smartphone and send it straight away which is which is pretty handy <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's a very mean, small personal, personal use. I mean, cameras are becoming so advanced, so why not take the full use of it? Make the use of yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Mm, okay, excellent. Yep, I hope this. I mean, this would be a helpful insight. Yeah, well, I. <laughs> I think definitely. Look, suddenly, thank you very, very much for for the effort uh, in sharing that with us and for, and for putting that together for us. Very informative, very interesting, and I'm sure very useful for anybody out there who is curious to to understand a little bit more about what it takes to be a, you know, to, to, to be a truly um, effective event photographer, whether it's, you know, composing the best shot or whether it's working with the guests as, as, as well as you can to, to bring the best out of them, or whether it's, you know, even making sure you're, you're working with your with your fellow photographers in a in a collaborative and not competitive way, right down to fast delivery. Because let's yeah. face it, in this day and age, we need things done yesterday, every day. Yeah. So it's all in So I think we've got um, we've got a couple of, of good questions here. I think would be amazing to to finish up on. Sure. So first question is from howard who wants to know whose work has influenced you the most and why has it influenced <clears throat> you the most <clears throat> hmm, i think that's uh mm, i would say like it's uh uh overall like my team has influenced me the most oh good answer very diplomatic i'm sure paul will be more happy to hear that yeah Okay, and is that and, and and what is that because of the way that you guys is that because of the different experiences that everybody brings to the table yeah, and and exactly. you learn? From each other? Yeah, awesome. Okay, we have a question here from um, uh, you, I can't see the name from here unfortunately, but they're asking who are your favorite artists that you've shot, and they're a big fan from Singapore. So look at that, you've got a international mm. over here. I think a couple of ideas I can say it was uh, I think it was Armin van Buren. Like that, that oh, was wow. a couple of yeah. Well, it must have been quite a show. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't do 
doesn't really do small intimate gigs he's yeah. much more of a festival dance artist that guy that must have been fantastic yeah okay so there we go armin van buren the best artist and we have a question here from a big fan from penang asking what gear do you use and actually that is a good question i want to know what gear you use uh at the moment we have uh uh i use like a nikon b750 mm. and, cool. and sometimes like because usually events we carry like two two bodies like two sure. different camera systems and two different bodies like one has to be a portrait or wide angle so it also helps with the workflow it makes things a lot easier and faster yeah and recently the team we have been slowly shifting i mean i don't say shifting it's we have uh uh canon we use like canon 5d mark 3 then okay. nikon so you so you you're using both canon and nikon at the same time and, and as well same... so, yeah we we, oh, we also okay. using like a couple of sony a7r3 yeah i mean no, I see other, uh, uh, next three, yeah you're really mixing it up okay because some photographers yeah. you speak to are of course die hard fans of one brand or another but yeah you guys are keeping it fresh keeping it interesting and as well we also try to make make things like keep the color same like uh, really, yeah for so it doesn't look like we are using different systems yeah okay yeah. well cool those so the excellent questions guys thank you for bringing those in i think some people we can wrap up with showing you just some of the comments that we've been receiving on the stream from <laughs> from the uh, from the fans that you have a lot of them suddenly senpai okay. nick tays must be <laughs> and guys are loving the shots that you're saying we apparently here have your number one fan who's been watching so i i, I can't see the name unfortunately yeah. but just know that they're out there somewhere uh where else we got suddenly is amazing we got someone here when they grow up they want to be just like suddenly khan so praise <laughs> in <indeed. laughs> nick tay right to practice practice like suddenly senpai and so on and uh, last of all we love the shots and we love the colors and i have to i have to absolutely agree so guys by the way um check out the full portfolio of work down below the instagram handles are down there suddenly_khan.jpg which i love i think that's genius your username and all is amazing on instagram at all is amazing and they have a wonderful portfolio and a body of work which is i would i would suggest is probably industry leading right now when you look at the events they cover and the clients they work with and the celebrities they shoot there's some you know phenomenal work going on so congratulations to you guys and we cannot Thank wait you. to see what you guys start doing as soon as the mco is lifted you know that we're sure we're sure you'll be at the first event <laughs> whenever that might be and you know we hope we hope to see you there we look forward to seeing you there and Uh, in the meantime guys by the way anyone watching we will be sending out a survey um in the comment section below this video and in that survey will be a, a bit of information about some the, the about some of the special deals that we 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 talked about earlier reminder all is amazing are doing a special discount and a special price on some studio portrait sessions so like now would be a great time to take advantage of that because like i said their their photography is is really really quality stuff uh, but for now suddenly look thank you so much for, for joining for us and you. for talking to us. Okay. Really appreciate the effort. We hope you enjoyed it. I know I learned something and I'm sure people at home did too. Um this will be going out on Facebook and YouTube. Um so this isn't just a one-off live session. The video will be staying up. So you know, share with your friends, tell your friends, join the Facebook group. We'll be having sessions like this for the next couple of weeks and you know, if there's anything to go by this one then, you know, we'll have a much more educated audience by by the end of the MCO period and that's what we're aiming for here. So Suddenly thank you again. Stay here but for now stay inside and stay safe. Okay. Keep those hands clean. No, okay. no, pleasure. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you uh, when when this is all over. Uh, okay, stay safe. Uh, take care. Thank you. Thank you. All right guys, there you have it. Sun Lee Khan, senior photographer at All is Amazing and I hope you found that as informative and interesting as I did. anybody who is interested to get into the event side of things um on the photography or the creative side you can reach them at their website where they uh, and and you can see more of their portfolio of work and learn about the the whole team that is allisamazing.com allisamazing.com and their instagram is down below we're going to take a quick break we will be back at 6 p.m. in a couple of hours with another happy hour session we'll be joined by JB Jean-Baptiste Gouval again 
the champagne ambassador this time for GH Mum. And he will be talking about talking to us about the art and the appreciation of champagne and showing us how to open a bottle with a sword, which I'm very much looking forward to. And we'll wrap up today's session with live music from Bobby Town. So guys, please check out the survey in the comments below. Uh, it'll only take two minutes and it's really useful for us to, to get some feedback and understand what you liked and hopefully didn't not like, if that makes sense. But either way, if you didn't like something or feel we can improve, please let us know because ultimately these sessions are for you. We want to use these sessions to inspire and educate and inform you guys as much as we can from our, our list of contacts and clients and colleagues and friends. And we want to bring to you some knowledge and some, some insights while we're all at home. It's a great time to learn some of these skills. So thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching and paying attention. We hope you learned something. I'll be back in a couple of hours for happy hour. Please join me then. For now, stay safe, stay indoors, and take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.